Today we're going to work on solving and writing equations from word problems. And I want to start with our one example. Tanya has a cell phone plan that charges $26 per month. There is an additional charge of 30 cents per text message. Now we can extend this question in a variety of different ways, but I want to find out what some different values would be depending on the number of text messages. What would happen if she sent 30 text messages? What would be her total cost for the month? Or maybe how would we do it if there were 50 text messages? Or what if she didn't text that often and only texted 15 times? The question becomes how do we calculate this each time? So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, for 30 texts at 30 cents a piece, that's going to net us $9 plus the original 26 or a total of $35 for the month. If there were 50 text messages, we're going to multiply that by 0.3 again. That's going to give us $15 worth of text messages. The 26 original dollars is going to net us a $41 bill for the month. And finally, if there were only 15 text messages, again at 30 cents a piece, you'll see the same routine here. I'm going to multiply these two values. That's going to give us only $4.50 worth of text messages. Add on the 26 for the phone service, and in this case, I'm going to get $30 and 50 cents. So we've just seen that 30 text messages are going to cost $35. A 50 text message month would cost $41. And if she sent only 15 text messages for the month, it would cost her $30 and 50 cents. And what did we do every single time? Well, we calculated the number of text messages we sent. Let's call it n because it could really be any value. And every time we multiplied that n by 30 cents, and then eventually we added $26 onto that. And I can simplify that into a neater expression, 0.30n plus 26, which would be even neater if we didn't have the zero, so I might call it 0.3n plus 26. This would be an equation that would represent how much money it would cost for Tanya to pay her cell phone bill if n equals the number of text messages she sends. As n increases, the cost will increase. As n decreases, the cost will decrease. Now if we look to extend this problem slightly, let's extend it to a different uh, question. If Tanya's January cell phone bill was $163.10, oh, that's a whopper. How many text messages did she send? Well, let's use the equation we just calculated. 0.3n plus 26 was representative of how much money she was going to have to spend per month. We know from the question that she spent 163.10, so I'm going to put that over here. And now I simply need to use my equation skills, subtract 26 away from both sides. You can go ahead and do this by hand. 0.3n equals, let's see, we'll take a 5 and a 13. We'll bring this down to 7, a 3, a 1. So it looks like she sent $137.10 worth of text messages. In this case, I would divide by 0.3n sorry, 0.3, and her total number of texts ended up being 457 text messages that month. That's an awful lot. But this is an example of how we've taken an original problem where we had somebody that had a cell phone bill of a certain amount, $26 per month. We had a per text value. Notice how the per text value ended up being the value that was multiplied by our va variable. And you might want to notice how the whole amount, that $26 that she had to pay no matter what, that ended up counting as our constant. It comes down here and shows up in our constant, not only here in the equation, but then that comes into play when we actually solve the problem as well. Again, here's the constant and here's the per text value. 